Welcome to the Intuitive Body Foodie Network, changing the way you think about food. Although there are exceptions to the rule, I normally only eat one meal a day. I'm not saying I do a 14 or a 16 or an 18 or a 24 hour fast. I only eat when I'm hungry. I wait until I'm really hungry. So some days that could be 12 hours, some days that could be 18 hours. I let my body decide. And as you will observe throughout this video, my portions are fairly small, but keep in mind I'm only five foot three and a half, barely pushing 120 pounds. At present, I'm not very active, so I don't eat a lot. When I'm more actively, I eat more. So obviously, if you're a larger person or you simply have a larger appetite, you will need to eat larger portion sizes than what I show in this video. Because I have added some recipes that are not on my channel, all the timestamps for each day are in the description box below. So if a recipe doesn't appeal to you, you can just skip ahead. The first thing I do every single morning when I wake up is I have a glass of water and then I make my coffee. To make my coffee, I brew it first, then I pour it into a saucepan, add a dollop of butter, let that melt, add a pinch of salt, bring it to a boil and add some cream. You might not want your coffee that hot, but I like my coffee hot, so, you know, each to their own. Then I transfer it to my blender, pulse it for about 30 seconds, pour it into my glass, and voila, top of the morning to you. Normally I drink a liter of salted water or this is undiluted concentrated kraut juice. It's rich in vitamins and minerals. And now I'm going to fill it up with some ice cubes so that this becomes diluted and the ice melts slowly and I can have a nice cold beverage throughout the day. So essentially it's an all natural liquid multivitamin and it has all your electrolyte balances of sodium, potassium and magnesium. Good for your body, good for your health. Today's meal is one egg omelet, fermented egg salad, a slice of roast beef with gravy, and a four ounce glass of milk kefir. Today's meal begins with four ounces of fermented milk kefir, a three egg omelet topped with fermented liver pate and chicken, a side order of fermented chickpeas, and now I'm adding a teaspoon of homemade tomato butter. I'm preheating the oven to 350 degrees, placing my dish inside the heated convection oven for a couple of minutes just to let the butter melt. I'm ending today's meal with a homemade keto chocolate chip peanut butter cookie. I have a half an apple. These eggs are fermented. This is sourdough toast with some butter and salt. And this is fermented milk. And I have a little piece of chicken. I don't eat a lot of chicken or pork, but when I do, because it's rich in omega-6, I counter it with something with it high in omega-3, such as fermented eggs, or I will have it with some sort of fish, a fatty fish like salmon or herring or cod liver or sardines. So if you have a larger appetite than I do, then add some fish to this as well as the chicken and the eggs, or skip the apple and have more bread, or skip the apple and the bread all together and have more fish and some meat or cheese. Today's lunch is four ounces of milk kefir, a Caesar salad, fermented bean and fish salad, which is a combination of salmon and tuna and mixed bean salad with lots of garlic. This has been fermenting in my fridge for approximately four months, so it's perfect. You can see the bubbles coming up still. Jute's Ezekiel sourdough bread with butter, fermented liver pate, and fermented avocado chickpea mash. This is a version of Jude's Ezekiel sourdough bread, with the exception that this also contains psyllium. It's exact same recipe, you're just adding the psyllium powder. And why psyllium powder? Because it's more fiber. And why fiber? Because fiber is what feeds the beneficial bacteria in your gut. When you eat a fermented food, what that does is it increases the beneficial gut bacteria. In other words, it's like adding soldiers to your army. But when you feed it fiber, what you're doing essentially is you're feeding your army because if you don't feed your army, they'll starve. Even though this has butter in it, I want a lot of fat. So I'm going to butter my toast first and then I'm gonna add the liver pate. And then I'm going to add a dollop fermented avocado chickpea mash. You can find all these recipes on my channel. And to make life easier for you, 
I will link them in the description box below. Today's meal is an egg white omelette, avocado fries, and a glass of fermented carnivore smoothie, or as you might know it, fermented eggnog. Today's meal begins with four ounces of milk kefir, two thick slices of summer sausage, and this delicious lettuce boat. Let me show you how I make this. This has no sulfites. They use celery juice. I bought this from Wild Meadows. I will leave a link below if you're in, in Ontario, Canada and you want some delicious summer sausage. This is made by the Mennonites. It freezes really well. I have about 10 of these in my freezer. I put them in a Ziploc bag. I don't take them out of this little bag. And it will last in your fridge until it dries up rock hard, unless you eat it before then. Um, and even then, it's more like a jerky, so it's still good. I'm going to start with this fermented avocado chickpea mash, which means that it's high fat and protein. And now I'm going to add some of this fermented potato salad. Now I'm going to take some of this chicken, and I'm just going to slice it. homemade farmer's cheese. I can't find any hot sauce in the fridge, so I have these hot peppers. There's nine hot peppers in this. I'll just sprinkle that on top. I just want a little heat, a little something to counter all the sour. Other things that you can add to lettuce wrap, you can put sausages, you can put meatballs in this, you know, especially if you want like low, low carb. Mmm. Today's meal begins with an eight ounce glass of carnivore smoothie. And now I am buttering two very thin slices of Jude's Ezekiel sourdough bread. And now I'm adding some fermented liver pate. To this I am adding a one egg omelet and three slices of extra crispy bacon. It's even better when you make it into a sandwich. <laughs> Today's lunch. Bacon, summer sausage, lettuce, mayo, butter, and fermented pesto mayo on a combination of whole wheat and all-purpose white sourdough bread. A side order of plain coleslaw with caraway seeds fermented in milk kefir whey and a boiled egg with salt and pepper. To build this sandwich, toast your bread, butter it generously, add some pesto mayo, slice and dice some summer sausage, Sprinkle that over top of the pesto mayo. Add your cooked bacon, some lettuce. Add mayo to your other slice of buttered bread and voila! Your sandwich is ready. Sometimes you just can't help but make a mess, especially when it's this good. What makes this sandwich is the pesto mayo. The pesto can be basil, it can be cilantro, it can be parsley, it can be dandelion. Anything green can make pesto. Because this was made with milk kefir whey, it has absolutely no salt. I'm not used to it. For that reason, I think I'm just going to add it right into my sandwich. I'm not a big fan of trout without salt, unless it's in a sandwich. It's really messy, but it's really good. I'm going to finish off this meal with a little bit of milk kefir. I don't normally drink beverages with my meal. When you drink water with a meal, it dilutes your digestive enzymes in your stomach. Typically, I drink water between meals, and anything that I drink with a meal, like milk kefir, is technically a food. It's not a beverage. So otherwise, if I didn't drink this, I wouldn't drink anything. I'd wait for about a half an hour to an hour after I've eaten, and then I'd have something to drink, such as water kefir or water. But ideally, no fluids with my actual meal. What am I eating today? Um, right now I'm eating popcorn. <laughs> and then I'm going to have some soup. Today's meal is a thick slice of Jude's Ezekiel sourdough bread that is buttered. A quarter cup of fermented cottage cheese with salt and pepper. And some homemade barley vegetable soup. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. Today's recipe begins with one liter bottle of homemade barley vegetable soup, to which I am now adding a one liter jar of homemade chicken broth. 
a tablespoon of goose fat, and a half a cup of full fat whipping cream. Well, now I'm just gonna go to my room, finish editing, and nibble on popcorn. Today's meal begins with four ounces of fermented carnivore smoothie. The comforts of food can be very simple sometimes, and today it's just a simple bowl of soup and some toasted sourdough bread with melted butter and salt. It's delicious. Truth be told, this is my second bowl. I had a bowl about a half an hour ago. The bread that I ate is extremely dense, high fat, high protein, with a lot of fiber. So what will this do in my stomach? This will make the bread swell in my stomach. It'll leave me feeling full. There's enough fat and fiber and nutrients uh, that can sustain my body. And throughout the day, then I just drink lots of water. And for dessert, I'm having a tiny piece of frozen banana because it has a texture of a, a really good cookie. Hard, but not hard enough because your teeth can penetrate through it. And then it's a bit chewy. It's good and it's sweet. Not to mention bananas are rich in potassium. So it's just another way to balance my electrolytes with food. So I don't have to take, you know, special drinks or special pills. Today's meal begins with four ounces of fermented kraut juice. You always want to drink your beverages either before your meal or about a half an hour to an hour after your meal. And if you absolutely need to have a drink with your meal, my recommendation is to only sip on about one to two ounces throughout your meal. And a sandwich of kraut, fermented cottage and farmer's cheese, soft beef crackle and salt on toasted whole wheat sourdough bread. And a side order of sauerkraut. That's good. This is the remaining fat and beef meat from some beef fat that I rendered. And as you'll notice, I'm not buttering my toast for the simple fact that there's a lot of fat still in all of this meat. Now this isn't as crispy as it normally would be when you make crackle. If you don't know how to make crackle, I have a video on that. I'll link it in the description box below. If you don't know how to render animal fat, I'll add that video in the description box below as well. Today's meal is four ounces of milk kefir, butter, mayo, sardines, and raw garlic on Jude's psyllium infused Ezekiel bread and some celery, cucumber, and the rest of the can of sardines. It's really messy, but it's really quite good. I don't eat food like this, but maybe once a year. That's why we don't normally have it in the house. This was given to us as a gift. And you know the old saying, it's hard to stop at one. I ate them all. Mm -hmm. Now I have to go tell Dom that there's no more. Today is one of the lousiest days of eating. I don't feel so good now. In fact, I feel kind of nauseous. Honestly, that's probably a good thing. Otherwise, I would just plow through an entire box of Ferrero Rocher. Today's lunch is a T-bone steak and some homemade raw apple cider vinegar. The reason why I'm not eating any fat is because this T-bone has lots of fat and I didn't cut it off. I'm just eating the fat that comes with the meat. For dessert, I'm having a half a cup of fermented yogurt kefir with raw honey. This has been fermenting with the raw honey in my fridge for approximately two weeks. That said, it's not overly sour because there's still just enough honey just to make it a titch, a tad, or a little bit sweet. Today's meal begins with five ounces of milk kefir. Second glass. But I had two glasses, so that makes 10 ounces today. Today's meal is three egg whites fried in some pork fat. I reserved the raw egg yolks to place on top, and I'm having a slice of whole wheat fermented sourdough bread lathered in butter and salt. It's called scarpetta. Bread is a chaser for egg yolk. For dessert, I'm having fermented milk kefir with raw honey. If you have a predisposition towards ice cream, milk kefir yogurt with raw honey, it's not only delicious, but it's a really healthy substitute. Well, that concludes this video of how I eat fermented foods over 14 days. You'll notice that my diet was rich in dairy, eggs, and sourdough bread. I'm not sure if that's because it's winter months and I'm seeking more comfort foods. Typically in spring and summer, I want lighter foods, a lot more fruits and vegetables, cold fermented salads, bone broths, fermented meats, and a whole lot more sauerkraut and fermented carrots. I also tend to like more fermented noodles, such as glass noodles, 
with meat and vegetables in the summer months. I like to eat it cold. Not to mention I have a lot of low carb frozen desserts if you like that. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you like this video, then come back because I'll create more of these. Until I see you in a future video, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate you. Ciao for now. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead.